Backyard Brains presents The Electroencephalogram, also known as the EEG. See the alpha waves of the visual cortex of your own brain. For this experiment, we will use our old friends Gabriella and Pablo, residents of the Santiago Makerspace. Gabriella will place our EEG headband on the back of Pablo's head such that the two electrodes are over his visual cortex, and we will place a patch sticker electrode on the prominent bone behind his ear. To make the connection as stable as possible, we will also add some conductive gel in between the electrodes and his head. Using our standard interface cable, we will connect the red and black alligator clips to the electrodes on the back of the head and the bare metal clip to the electrode behind the ear. We will then connect this interface cable to the EEG EKG spiker shield and we will connect the shield to the computer via a standard USB cable. And we are ready to begin. But what is going on here? When your eyes are open, the visual cortex in your brain is processing a lot of information about your entire visual field about levels of contrast and color and light. But when your eyes are closed, the field is dark, and hence, counterintuitively, the neurons in your visual cortex become more synchronized. A popular analogy is to imagine yourself outside a stadium during halftime. There are a lot of conversations occurring inside the stadium, a lot of information processing, but outside the stadium, all you hear is a dim hum of noise. This is equivalent to the eyes open condition in the electroencephalogram. Alternatively, during the singing of the national anthem, many of the spectators inside the stadium are singing the same thing. They are synchronized, and this signal is strong enough that you can plainly hear it, though distorted, outside of the stadium. This is equivalent to the eyes closed condition in the electroencephalogram. The physiological underpinnings of the EEG signal are complex and still a topic of active investigation in the neuroscience community. But we currently understand it to be the summed activity of many synapses in the upper layers of the cerebral cortex. Our shield thus amplifies the electrical activity of these synapses such that we can view them on a computer under the appropriate conditions. Now that we know a little bit more about the theory, let's run our processing software on our laptop to take a closer look at Pablo's brain with his eyes open versus his eyes closed. What will we observe? Those ripples are his alpha waves. These alpha waves were first discovered by Hans Berger, a German physiologist in the 1920s, and subsequently verified by Lord Edgar Adrian at the University of Cambridge in the 1930s. We thank our many friends at the Santiago Makerspace in Chile, who worked with us to replicate these findings in a compelling and simple way. This is only just the beginning. What will you discover with your EEG? Backyard Brains. Neuroscience for everyone.